a new boat. We actually haven't named the Four Rivers Refuge Runner yet, so drop a comment down below suggesting a name for this and I'll pick a winner and it will name the boat. Or actually I'll let you guys pick it. So the most thumbs up comment, that's what we're going to name the boat. Handled so flawlessly. Oh, I'm so, so, so happy with how this turned out. I was actually a little bit nervous about if it was going to be ready to teal hunt this year, but we got it done and it's ready to go. And if you guys missed the whole boat build series, there's a playlist on my channel where I took this boat and the, the Mo Marsh and I made them the ultimate duck hunting boats. So go ahead and check that out after this video. But we're out here doing some teal hunting and we're going to just chill out here in the refuge runner for a little while and wait until shooting line. I did see some ducks coming in, but they were wood ducks. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful today, but got a nice little millet hole here. I think it's going to work out really well for us. First duck in the new boat, baby. Blue wing teal this is the first duck in the old refuge runner here. I wanted to take my time on that because the amount of big ducks I've been seeing this morning, I just wanted to be really sure. And by the time I pulled up, they were on the water. So go figure. And with how close they were, shooting them on the water would leave me with nothing but feathers. You know, it's not about numbers today. It's about the experience getting out in the new boat. So, oh yeah. We're on the board. Wow, that came out of nowhere. That's the thing about solo hunting. Sometimes you get a surprise. Two more bluings, so that brings me up to three teal, halfway to my limit. For those of you guys who are wondering about how I concealed that, not very well, but it works, obviously. I used some tough brush from Final Approach. I just stacked it up there. It seemed to work okay. And uh, for those of you guys who are wondering about where Cora is, why she's not hunting right now, is she's just not ready yet. I mean, she could probably hunt, but I'm going to wait until Big Duck opens to take her because sometimes these teal hunts can be pretty wacky. I'm by myself. Like it's just not a good situation to put a young, fresh dog into. So I want to do it right. Uh, last year I screwed up a little bit, hunted her too early. So this year we're going to do it right, get her out at the right time. She'll be hunting for sure during Big Duck season, so don't worry. It's just ab about timing with the young, new dog. So. I'd love to have her here, but it's just not the right time. Yes, I just fell and I'm soaked. <laughs> well, I'd say the first hunt in the new boat was a success. Got three blue wingers. Half a lemon, I'll take that any day, especially with just kind of going in blind. I got in last night, couldn't scout, so I just kind of decided to go, see what happens. Found a hole, turned out to be pretty good. So the old refuge runner, 
we need to name this bad boy. So like I said at the beginning, drop a comment down below and the one with the most thumbs up will get to be the name of the boat. I've also got the Quacker Stacker with me. So we're gonna be doing some hunts out of both of these boats this week and I'm really looking forward to it. So other than that, man, I mean, just three dozen final approach teal decoys, three spinners, pretty straightforward. I mean, just your basic teal hunt ended with three. So I'm totally cool with that. So if you guys uh, aren't following me on Instagram or Facebook, head over and give me a follow. And if you haven't left a thumbs up on this video, please do that. I've worked my tail off all summer long getting this boat ready. So please make sure to hit that thumbs up for me and I will catch you guys on the next one.